Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Omar Hamid and in this video I will show you how you can record screen using PowerPoint. This feature comes useful especially when you want to make your presentation as a video and send it or post it somewhere. So let's go into PowerPoint to see how we can record screen. So here I am in PowerPoint. I opened a blank presentation and I will show you how you can record the screen using PowerPoint. So you can do it by going to insert and record from here or you can also go to the recording tab and you can find the screen recording from here and in case you don't have the recording tab you can right click on the ribbon and customize the ribbon here and the recording tab will be unchecked so you check it and you press ok and it will be shown to you here so it's better to have the recording tab because it contains everything else. It also contains the record slideshow in which I will show later in the video. But also the record slideshow, you can access it from the slideshow here, record slideshow. But it's better to have everything in one place for the recording and the related stuff. So in order to record the screen, I will press on screen recording. And here I am in my desktop screen it opens automatically so there is a record pointer I can check and uncheck it I will keep it checked there is also the audio so do you want your audio to be present in the recording or not I want it to be present and there is the select area so if you keep it without selecting an area it will only record the desktop screen but I want to uh, select an area so I will select this Excel and I want my recording to only take this area and from here I can start recording so let's say I want to explain how to go into new line in Excel, in Excel using the wrap text feature which I explained in my previous video so let's record the screen and see how we can do it so I'll press on record and then I will explain the wrap text. So you can see in my title of this column that not all the title is shown. So in order to show it all, I have another feature to do it other than the Alt plus Enter, which is the wrap text. So I will select the column. I will go into wrap text here. And as you can see now, I can see all the text and it's on different lines. And then in order to stop the record, I press on Windows plus Shift plus Q. And here you can see that my record is now attached to the PowerPoint. So I can watch it from here and I can customize this recording by going to playback I can for example trim the video if I want to remove something from the beginning and from the end where I'm not talking for example I'll press OK I can also fade in and fade out I can make the volume low medium high or even mute my volume if i don't need it and i'm just explaining without the need of an audio and i can either play it without full screen or as full screen so let me show you so for example if you go into full screen the presentation will not take the full screen but if I check the play full screen and make it a full screen, you can see that the recording area takes the whole screen. I can also loop it, rewind it. And here from video format, I can also maybe add video styles. So for example, I can add shadows and make it look different, add borders. And at the end, if I want to save it, I can either save it inside the PowerPoint. So I will save it normally from here, file, and save as, and PowerPoint presentation. 
and select the place that I want to save it or I can save the recording alone as a media so I can right click save media as and I will save it as media file and I will select the place that I want to save it and press save and I will have it there and here you can see the record exported as a media or as an mp4 file so I can watch from here the record and now let's say that I have a presentation composed of three slides the hello slide the slide of the content and the thank you slide and I want to record the slideshow so in order to do it I can either go to the slideshow and record slideshow from here or go to the recording tab and record slideshow from here so if I press on it here you can see that I will appear here so you can either turn on or turn off the camera you can also turn on and turn off the microphone and from here you can add notes to your slides so for example while presenting you can read those notes or look at them but they will not appear in the recording and you can also start the record from here you can stop it and replay it so uh, i will press on record screen and i will start my presentation and and here's the timer so hello to my presentation i'm omar hamid and today i will talk to you about this nice content thank you for listening to my presentation and see you soon and i pressed on the stop here i can also clear the recording from a specific slide or clear the recording for the whole presentation and also if i annotate or i write on the screen it will be appearing in my presentation and in my video so let's see how it appears now in the powerpoint you can see that it's as a recording and now i have two options either to save it as a show so it will be as a powerpoint show or i can export it to video so if i press on export to video here and i will make it a full hd use the recorded time and narration and create video and here i have it saved now in both ways the slideshow and the video so if i press on the slideshow you can see that it appeared as a powerpoint file but as a slideshow for it or the same as a video so here i have it as a video and i can embed it wherever i want i can post it on youtube or put it anywhere else and of course i can still have it as the original powerpoint file now you are able to make your presentation as a video and even show yourself while presenting like and share this video and hit the subscribe button to see all my previous and upcoming videos.